So I'm going to be talking a little bit today about the fandom and, and general and, and why I don't care for the Transformer fandom as a whole. I know I've gone over this subject in the past, but uh, it's a uh, it's one that's uh, pretty. Uh, it may get a lot of folks get you know going, getting angry, offending them. Oh well, they're going to have to deal with it. Um, I've just had a lot of bad experiences in the past. You know, the Transformer community in specific. You know, I'm a big fan of other genres like the. Uh, like Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, and I've just never had the same experiences as I have inside the Transformers fandom. And, uh, like recently, I'll give you a few examples. I've, I've, uh, I got ripped off and it was my own fault, but you just wouldn't expect it because if you're coming from a fellow fan, uh, in one of the Facebook groups, somebody approached me about something I was looking for, showed me a pic and, uh, told me they had it. And we engaged in this 45 minute long conversation about transformers and, uh, what they mean to us and everything else. And the guy ended up just ripping me off and, and I paid him, you know, for a product. And then every day I see rudeness in the community and smugness. And I know online on YouTube, I see amongst the transformers content creators, I see a large clicking up. You know, it's okay to have buddies, you know, that, you know, friends online and stuff, but to always click up with those same guys, you know, I've gone into live streams and said, how hey, had everybody not even been greeted so many times. It's just the spirit of, uh, I guess, asshole, assholishness <laughs> for lack of a better term, you know, they just, they just kind of stuck up to me, you know, in, in general. And I'm not saying everyone's like that. There's a lot of great guys in the community, but you know, uh, to me, that's the minority, uh, not the majority. And uh, even guys that I've I've considered friends, you know, are and, and I shouldn't have. I was wrong to consider them friends because online you just have acquaintances. You don't know these people, even if you've known them or interacted with them for years. They're not friends. You never met them. Uh, but. Like, uh, I'm not going to call it any names here at all, but, uh, there's one, I came to him with a personal problem. Like a man, I came to him one-on-one -on -one that I had an, an issue I had uh, with him and he, uh, didn't apologize, just got up a little attitude. So I just, I didn't say nothing back. I'm not arguing with somebody online. I just cut him off, stopped supporting him and that's it. And there's so many YouTubers, Transformers content creators that I used to support and I don't support or I'm about to stop supporting. Uh, there's another fella. I just, you know, because if, if y'all recall the giveaway I was doing, the one giveaway for the vintage uh, G2 uh, Hero Optimus Prime, I sent it to one of my, because nobody was interested in it as a giveaway, but it's like a $150 figure. And I didn't want to sell it. I, I, I wanted to give it to somebody because that's what I enjoy doing. I genuinely enjoy giving away stuff. And, uh, but I gave it to somebody I considered a, a friend of mine, you know, and I'm, I've interacted with him for many years and, uh, he's, he's, he's probably still an, uh, he's probably a, a decent human, you know, and, and nice guy. But, uh, not only have I done this, I've been supporting his channel for years and contributing to it more than, more than just financially, which I did also, but commenting, liking, sharing and, uh, c consistently for years. Anyhow, he got this figure. I expected him to do an unboxing. Okay, he was, he, and, you know, give me a shout-out. That's all I asked in exchange. Give me a shout-out. He hadn't done it, which, okay, I understand that even. that's You got busy. That's fine. But And I asked him, well, how'd you like it? I had to go to him. This is weeks later after he received it. He said, oh, man, I loved it. But he never even said thank you for it. That's messed up to me. I mean, it's not, hey, man, thank you so much. After he opened it, there was nothing like that. And when I asked him how he liked it, he never even thanked me. I mean, that's just, I don't know, man. It's just, it's stuff like that. And like I said, I'm not going to name names or call anybody specifically out. I could call a lot of names out. But just so many uh, of, of these fans. And the spirit of selfishness I see. If you look at this new legacy line, uh, you don't see people helping each other out in the transformer groups as far as, um, on Facebook, 
specifically, acquiring figures. You know, I'm, I started a GI Joe group with thousands of members on Facebook, and uh, these guys help each other find stuff. They look for each other's stuff. Uh, we used to just give away stuff that we knew people were after. I gave away sealed, countless, well, not countless, dozens of sealed uh, GI Joe stuff there. You know, and it's just you see that spirit in that community. I don't see it in the Transformers community. You know, in any groups I'm a part of on Facebook, there's not even a place to report somebody who ripped you off. Because they just don't care. And then you see the scalpers and the resellers on eBay and other places, Mercari, uh, getting a profit of these legacy, uh, like the drag strip. Ever since uh, the rest of them were announced and, and some of them were shown, like Motormaster and Wild Rider, that figure is harder and harder to come by. Well, that's, that's fine. You know, that's how it is. But no one... The guys that are finding them, I have a feeling they're just not even telling anyone. They're just reselling after they have theirs. And that's, uh, that's, that's fucked up to me. Pardon my language. You know, this one's not for kids. My channel's not for kids. Uh, but uh, I just think it's it, there's, there's so many things wrong in the Transformers fandom and community. And somebody can get an attitude with me and say, well, why don't you leave if it's so horrible? Guess what, guys? I've been here just as long as anyone else. And this is my community. I'm not. I'm not letting some punks chase me away from it. I'm. The, I'm in this community for life. I've always been in this community. But uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm just rather than confronting people, I'm just cutting them off. I'm start. I'm stopping supporting their channels. I'm just. It's just done. And uh, if if I'm talking or if I've said something about you and you know who you are, and you happen to be listening to this, I wish you the best. But I'm done with you. Uh, based on your actions and like i said not everyone's like this i'm just uh and i'm just venting a bit here and that's okay because it's my channel and i enjoy it by the way you're listening to the transformers talk raw podcast you can click the various links in the description below and check us out in our facebook group there you can share your own channels pages chat bots with us or even help a fellow collector find a figure he's after god forbid <laughs> you can also listen in on spotify and take t-talk with you on the go or even check out our change.org petition. But yeah, I appreciate you guys listening today. Uh, it's just a it's just a sad situation sometimes, you know. I've heard stories about, and I, I've experienced it myself. You know, the fandom helping each other out too. So there are really good guys, and I have some very close acquaintances, and I do still support some Transformers contents creators. Uh, the ones I still support personally are guys like Patriot Prime, Diecast Norbs. Uh, and the smaller channels, uh, Rosel Kane, uh, Dave Wayne, uh, who uh, has the uh, Dave Wave has potable nipples, really great guy, as far as I can tell, you know, and, and they seem like they're genuine people. And the, and the larger Transformer channels that don't get the big hits and are still down to earth will still chat with you when they have time. Uh, I really support them too because they're real people and they haven't gotten that big head. But these guys that click up and they don't care about their other hobbyists and they act like they do or they try and act like they do. I see right through that shit. Uh, but uh, anyway, guys, God bless to all in one. We're going to be back again soon. Check out those shorts playlists and uh, to all in one. This podcast is made possible in part thanks to the amazing support of our patrons. Click the link to our Patreon in the description below if you'd like to help keep T-Talk Raw going strong. Thank you.